in this access lesson, I want to talk about something called a filter. And what it enables us to do in access is filter out things that we don't want to see. There are so many great options and they're so easy to use. So we're going to start with maybe this, the position field. And let's say that we only want to find the bakers. So all you need to do to get started is simply find one of the bakers and then right click on that field. And then you have a few options, but one of them is right here, equals baker. You can also go to text filters here and you'll get the same thing saying equals baker. So that's exactly what I want. I want, I want bakers only. So I can hit this and it's only going to show me the bakers. Let me try that one more time. I'm going to come here and say equals baker. And it's filtered out everything else and it's now only showing me the bakers. Now if I was looking for bakers in Tiburon, I'd be able to leave that filter on and then find one that's in Tiburon and then ask for equals Tiburon. So now I have a multi-level filter that has first found the bakers and then found the bakers in Tiburon. Fast, easy, practical, and once you've found the people, you can just toggle filter to get rid of it. And now you're back to the entire list. I want to give you a few other examples of, of filtering. You can filter by number. Um, and here I'll give you an example. So we have these zip codes here. And I can ask for equal, but I can also ask for anything that's lower or greater than that number. Now for zip code, that might not make much sense. However, if it was amount of money owing, that would make a lot of sense, right? Um, or hiring date. If I were looking for people who were hired before the year 2000, I could simply click, right click in this field and go to date filters and say before, and here I would say 2000, 01, 01, and then hit OK. And I'm only going to get a list of people who were hired before the year 2000. Fast, easy, and when you're done, you simply toggle the filter and that's gone. And if I wanted to add a filter to that, I could have added a filter to that. There are a few others available to you. Um, here, I have people who actually don't have an email address. So if I'm only trying to reach the people or see the people who have an email address, uh, this gets a little bit more complicated because I need to type in um, certain terms. So here, rather than right click, I would go into advanced here for advanced filter sort. And as I mentioned in the last uh, exercise about finding and filter and, and yeah and um, sorting, I would clear this first. And now here I'm talking about email. And my criteria is I want to make sure they have an email. So here I would type is not and I want to type empty, but empty won't work. So you have to use the word null. So this just simply means they have to have an email address. So when I toggle this, it's only going to show me the people who actually have an email address. I could have done the opposite. I could, if I wanted to only find the people who don't have an email address, I could go back to advanced filter sort and I could type is null because then I, I know that I have to actually call these people. And in this case, it's just two people who do not have an email address. I just want to run a few more examples here. Uh, let's say that I'm looking for people from certain stores. So I could find one store. I could say that I want Larkspur. Okay. Now it's kind of disappeared, but if I wanted to add some stores to that, I could click on this button and then find other stores, San Francisco and let's say Tiburon, and then hit OK. And now it's only showing me people who work from those stores. So still more options up here if you're looking for specific things that happen to be on this list. Now oftentimes in, in the workplace, you're, you're asked to run the same filter on a regular basis. And if you know that you're going to be asked to run the same filter on a regular basis, even though it's really easy, 
you may want to save it as a permanent filter. And we have a name for that. A permanent filter is called a query. And we already have some permanent filters in this particular table, in this database, sorry, right here. So a query is simply a permanent filter. And I'll show you how you can create one of those from here very easily. So let's say that we wanted only people who are cashiers and work in, I don't know if we have, in Mill Valley, let's say. So first I would ask for cashier, so I would say equals cashier. And then here I would find a Mill Valley or I would simply from here click on Mill Valley. And hit OK. And once this has been created, I would now go to this advanced section. And from the advanced section, I would save as a query. So I'm going to go back here to, I'm going to toggle this filter, and we've got this. And I can click on Advanced, and you see that Save as a Query doesn't show up. I'm not sure why. So you actually have to go into the Advanced Filter Sort area, and now go back to the very same button, and from here, Save it as a Query, and I can ca Cache Mill. Val. And I'm going to show you what that's done. So I'm going to toggle this filter, go back to my regular view. Okay, no filter at all. So the next time I'm asked for cashiers who live in Mill Valley, I can simply click on the query Cash Mill Val, and it's automatically going to show me the people who today are cashiers and work in Mill Valley. So filters from your regular data sheet view right here. You could have also done all of this in the form view, but you'd only be seeing one record at a time. So any kind of a filter simply by right clicking in a field or right clicking up here, or so, sorry, simply regular clicking up here, and that gets you into certain filters, or right clicking any field And then you have number filters or some predetermined filters here. And if you wanted to save a filter as a permanent filter, you would go into Advanced and Save as a Query, and they would be available to you at all times. So those are filters, and they filter out the things that you don't want to see, allowing you to see only the things that you want to see.